another coin ball. Look. It's sticking out right there. This looks like another dead thin one. Oh, morning, folks. I haven't been detecting for ages. I think it was, it's been over a month. Um, we're going to... There's a little strip of wood here. It is just a thin, thin strip of wood. And this sort of stuff, it looks really bad, but believe it or not, it has been a ploughed field in the past. It's just letting it overgrow at the moment. So we've got this to do, and this strip of wood. I think we'll start in the woods, and we'll jump in here. Uh, it's a really big area, so if there's anything here, I think they're going to be spread about a bit. Uh, nothing else to say. I'll come back with the first signal. Cheers. We've got a buckle. Look at that. I've scratched it with a spade, but that's a nice bit. I reckon that's what, 1800s? Possibly earlier. Uh, you don't find many buckles in the woods, although it is. It's not really woodland, it's sort of just a strip. Strip of wood. But anyway, yeah, I like that. It's a good find for the woods. Next signal looks like a coin, but it looks modern. Looks like a new ten pence. Eh, two pence, sorry. Ah, uh, it's a ten pence. 1980. 1989. 1969. Hold on. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's just a, a modern, modern ten pence. We've got another coin, if you can spot it. Just flew out the hole there. Looks like another modern 2p though. 10p, sorry. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a shilling. Ooh, it's a Queen Elizabeth. I think, is it a one shilling or a... T two shilling. Wait there now. 1962... Two, sh two shillings? Don't think it's got any silver in it. Yeah, two shillings. I hardly ever find them. They're not that rare, but I don't find them. Yep, Elizabeth the second there. And two shillings, 1962. Okay, right next to where the the ten pence and the two shillings have come out. We've got another thing that sounds like a coin to me anyway. Could be a wee pocket spill. Mm, it's quite shallow. Pretty shallow. Man, it's just under the surface. Oh, typical, absolutely typical. <sighs> a door hinge. <coughs> Every time I come out, I find part of a door. Doesn't matter where I go. Here we go. <clears throat> got a little bottle here. Let's see if I can get it out. Hey! Still got the stopper in it. Leeches, I think it is. It's got a serial number. Patent 4601.14. Leech. Dunbar & Co. Edinburgh. Found those before. 
but we've got the stopper, that's nice. Look at this, we've got a little coin ball. It is a tiny little thing. Is that even a coin? Possibly not. If it is, man, that's very thin. Hmm. Man, I've got no idea what that is. That looks old. That looks really old. Right, I'll have to clean that up. Not a clue what that is. Two seconds. Okay, that is the best I can do at the moment. Not a clue what it is. It's either a really old coin or a, a really old token. Uh, if you've got any idea, please let me know because it looks ancient. That looks really old. Yep, there we go. Okay, there's the next find. A tiny little sort of, don't know, stud kind of thing. Not stud, eh. Uh, I don't know, I've forgotten the name, but it looks old. Oh, eh, the finds here are definitely few and far between. You have to work for them. So, there we go. Just dug that up. I think it might be part of a, eh, you know, you hang over your fire and you stick your pot there to heat up. That's what that might be. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm not sure what it's called. I like the sound of that. I think we might be able to do this live. Oh my god. Oh, shh. <sighs> Can of iron brew. Alright. <laughs> Bit of copper pipe. Whoops. Copper pipe. You can sell that. You get about two pence for it. Another coin ball. Look. Sticking out right there, this looks like another dead thin one. Oh, it's not a coin, it's not a coin. It is a coin, it is a coin. Oh, that looks like another old one. That is. Right, I'll give it a clean. These could be really old. I don't know if they're sort of coppered, hammered or not, but... These are way far thin. That aye, that could be really, really old. I'll just give it a quick clean up. I bet it's completely blank. I have no idea what that is. But look, that that's old. That's definitely not Victoria or George the Third, I would say. Don't know if you can see that. That almost looks like 16 something. Could be a date going, but then you turn it like that, and is it just part of a pattern? There's words going around the sides, man. See, after George the Third, I don't know much at all about really old coins. Right, I'll do my research when I get in. If you can tell me what that is, please do. Because I think we've got an old one there. Beautiful.
Right, the last two old coins that I've dug up have sounded sort of similar to this. Sounded like that, so it could be another coin. An old, old coin. Or what else comes up that? Could be uh, lead. Let's find out. Alright, it's out. <laughs> this mud is absolutely disgusting. It stinks. I've got to sit on the bus after this. What's this? This better not be part of our door. Hmm. Not a clue what that is. This will take me about half an hour to clean. Give me two minutes, I need to get this mud off. Okay, there it is. Is that something or nothing? It's one of them. The surface looks really bad. But there's ju just the shape of it looks quite deliberate rather than just melted waste. So I'll take it home, give it a bit of clean and uh, see if I can figure out what that might be part of. Could be, med uh, could be medieval. Or it could be modern waste, I'm not sure. Right. Right, I'm going to call it a day. I've been out for ages, five and a half hours. Not found too much, but definitely a few nice things. See if if you can identify this before I can. Please let me know. It almost looks like a crown with flowers. And I don't know if, if that does say 1600 and something, or if that's my imagination. But it's an old coin. That's before George I, I think. Not that I've got much experience with him. Look at the thick thinness of it, it's m absolutely paper thin. Give me a hand with that please and I'll come back here. It was worth it. Just really sparse with the finds. Have to walk ages to find them but that's not a problem. Right, I'll be back here, I'll see you next time. Cheers.